Neil Sean here on your entertainment news with a true showbiz legend. My guest today is the wonderful, the gorgeous, the very talented Miss Thelma Ruby. Remember though, Thelma, if you miss it, you miss out. Don't miss Thelma today on your entertainment news. <laughs> Tyrone Power, yeah. Now, what was he like? Because I mean, Tyrone Power was like, it's hard to imagine in today's time, but he was like Brad Pitt and everybody else rolled into one, wasn't he? Oh, he was. Was he good? Now, I'm thinking you liked him, Thelma. Well, actually, we had a little romance. Oh! Which started with the, <laughs> the, uh, the, the lineup. All people who were in shows in the West End, the girls, all famous people were the chorus. Yeah. And he sang, pardon me, boy, is that the chat? No, oh, good yeah. choo We go, woo, woo, at the back. <laughs> <laughs> One day, he was singing the song, and he said, "There's instead of singing, there's going to be a certain party at the station, he sang, there's going to be a certain party at the wedding. And the director said, uh, Ty, that was fine until you came to the wedding. He said, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> so he was a nice man then. Oh, he and was wonderful. Where did you? So if you had a couple of dates, where did he take? Where does a Hollywood star take oh, it was somebody? More than a couple of dates. Oh, Thelma, please, it's too <laughs> but hot I'm in not here. Not going to talk about it to you. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what I find interesting though is when Hollywood stars came over in that period, it was a big thing, wasn't it? Yes, he was making Do a you know film I mean? here, and he was touring in Devil's Desire, but he wanted to be known as a serious actor, but because he was so handsome. He usually got the same sort of parts on films, you know, yeah. just to look gorgeous. But he really was a good actor and he was a gentleman inside and out. He was such a lovely man. He really was. Because I read this great story that Lana Turner liked him so much. I don't know how true this is, but um, the she decided that she was going to marry him. I mean, Lana married quite a few times, obviously, like eight or nine times. Yeah. Uh, but she, she had the towels and the bedding monogrammed in advance. <laughs> you know, which oh, is no. isn't that fabulous? Like you know, and then he saw it apparently, and oh how ooh, funny! I'm off, you know. Oh and, how uh, funny! But she was definitely sort of keen on. It. Oh, so you think well. Hmm. That was a bit of a shock, <laughs> though. <film>. So <laughs> he said uh, uh, he was unmarried when I knew him, and he said I'm never getting married to an actress again. It just doesn't work. So he was on tour in the south, and a lady came to his dressing room. And smack, it was romance, and he married her. And he went back to Hollywood with his new bride, and his friends made a party for him to celebrate the wedding. And he had a boat. Uh, I think it was called the Black Swan. And somebody gave him a present of towels, like a dozen bath towels, and dozen, all embroidered with the Black Swan. And this new bride opened them and said, ah, more towels. <laughs> <laughs> he died soon after. <laughs> people were like that then, though, weren't they? It was, it was a different time, as yes. you say. It's like, to, to have people yeah. like that, um, it's hard to imagine now, because we see celebrity a lot more now. It's more accessible. Yes. But when big stars came over like that, it, it's yes. incredible. You know what I mean? Um, I think when you look at, say, people like Tyrone Power and all those yes. bigger names like Mae West coming to London, people yes. like that, it must have been a very exciting period for you as an actress to it be was a It probably the most glamorous time of my life because he introduced me to Van Johnson and Jack Hawkins and a lot of other big stars. And it was a wonderful time, only at the time. Mm. And uh, one of the company got married and he came with me to the wedding. And I've got a picture of me arriving with him at the wedding. I think that it's in my book. I've got a book, you know, about my life. You should always have a book. Yes. Uh, a joint autobiography of my late husband yeah. and me. And there's a picture in there of me arriving at this wedding. Oh, it was appalling, you know, because it was, uh, I think, a Saturday morning, the wedding. And when it came to the matinee, we were all tight. You know, we were all... <laughs> And there was someone who ran a theatre, came round afterwards and said, I will never employ anybody that's in this show. It was so <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> it's brilliant, though, isn't it? It's, 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 it's,